welcome back to the show. Well, as we said off the top of the show, he's come on the show so many times before, and we always say to him, how do you get biceps and triceps like that? So today, exactly. he decided we're going to show you yeah. exactly how it's done. We're joined by James Elliott from Freeform Fitness. James, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Yeah. yeah. So mine aren't <laughs> quite like that, James. <laughs> <laughs> and for women, you know, back here, we yeah. really want to know about those exercises. Yeah, for so, sure. so yeah. actually, I'll get you guys to grab the okay. dumbbell. Okay. Uh, We're going to so jump right into it. Look at you. Yeah. So there's Kay. 10 pounds each. So I'll get you to my right and my left. Okay. I'll in the middle. All right. So we'll, we'll first start with the bicep. So now I'm we're going to have to ask you to come okay. over here just so yeah. you're facing camera okay. for us. So Kay. we'll start with the bicep. Now, the bicep is divided into two different muscle groups. So there's the inside bicep and the outside bicep. Okay. okay. So uh, if you want to work the inside bicep, you just tilt your elbows slightly to the hip joint. And okay. then from here, you're going to go externally backwards to All the inside. Right. Yeah. And every time you want to work the arms, you always want to squeeze as much blood to the muscle as you can. So right at the top of the movement, you're squeezing, you're coming nice and slow down. So, you kind so of I'm actually flexing the bicep actually there? Flexing the whole time. Okay. Yep. And then nice and slow I know down. you can't tell at home, but I am <laughs> flexing. <laughs> That's it. And you want to do about eight reps of those, eight so you reps. guys can keep Kay. going. Okay. Yep. You can actually see uh, Joelle's biceps peaking at the top. <laughs> you must, you must She's happy to hear that. <laughs> you see how excited she looks there? <laughs> yeah. They are this peaking. This is all good. <laughs> You're peaking. Good. So that okay. is the inside bicep. Now, okay. a lot of women, they actually like to work the outside bicep. So yeah. um, how you do that is that there's a brachialis muscle that lies right here between the tricep and the bicep. So for that to actually start to grow, it's going to actually make your uh, arm look a little bit more muscular this way okay. instead of this way. Right. So to do that, you do a hammer curl. So you're going to so hold So just straight your, up? Yeah, just hold your palms facing each other like this. Strip the top. Do the exact same thing as I just mentioned and squeeze the top of the position. Okay. Yep, and then slow back down. And uh, James, how do you choose the right weight? How do um, you know how much you should be lifting? Now, usually what I do is I start with a warm up. Now, okay. depending on, I mean, 10 pounds is fairly light to the average person, but I mean, it could be heavy for the average person as well. Sure. So it's always starting at the lightest position, really testing out the, the movement, and then from there, uh, move up gradually. Okay, right. yeah. good. So awesome. the next thing is the tricep. Now this is really important when it comes to making sure the back of your arms look good. Right. So this is actually divided into three different muscle groups. And this is so the this is the one you were, you're talking this is the about, one right? For women, as, uh, as you get yeah. older, you get the uh, you, you get that <laughs> little. <laughs> and it's like the queen wave. You want to avoid, <laughs> avoid the queen yeah. wave. So if you want to hit the lateral head, which is uh, the most, uh, uh, it's actually the muscle that pops out the most. Um, you want to do a kickback. So you're going to slightly bend your hips like okay. this. This way? Yep. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring your elbow toward aligning with your hip joint. All right. Okay. And you're going to keep your uh, arm uh, above the elbow. So you're gonna I'm going up here. Yeah. Oh, can you ever feel that? And you want to yeah. squeeze that position at the same time. And this is going to really make the... Wow, you know I haven't worked out mine in a while because, wow, that hurts. <laughs> No, no <laughs> comments over there, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, I'm feeling it too. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. Yep, and just continue doing that. Okay. And then that also hits. There's a muscle that lies near the top of your elbow joint as well, and that's going to okay. also hit that. But okay. if you really want to target underneath here, which is the most important area, you're going to grab one dumbbell here. I'll okay. This one All right. Okay. You can put that one on the floor, and you're going to put your hands kind of like in a diamond, like yep. this. Okay. And from here, you're going to stretch that oh. muscle out as much as you can. And then from that position, you're going to overhead extend. Okay. The okay. So back Whew. to front, full stretch, and then back to You hear, hear the crack? <laughs> <laughs> That's from a long weekend of inactivity right there, James. Yeah. <laughs> now, James, what happens if you are really stronger on one side and not as strong on the other? How do you balance okay. that out? So you never really want to just pick one muscle group. Like, for example, if my left is stronger than my right, you never really want to overtrain the one arm. Kay. You always want to try to balance out the difference. So you're going to want to pick a weight that you can do with both arms first. Okay. As you gradually increase your weight with doing that one exercise, and that's going to eventually balance out the other Keep on going. <laughs> now, if you're trying to build, is, is it different between wanting to have sort of sculpting your arms than building bulk in your arms? Yeah, so when it comes to women, it's really hard to build bulk in the first of all because yeah. you have lower testosterone levels. So as far as bulking, um, it's really going to be hard for you. But for guys, the way to bulk up is you're actually going to be lifting really heavy. Okay. So you do as much heavy lifting as you possibly can to really try to uh, grow the muscle, but if you really want to cut down, which I'm doing right now in the off season, or during, sorry, in season, right. is you're going to want to stick to strict hypertrophy, which is just eight to 12 reps, uh, pick a weight you're comfortable with, and you can do full range of motion. Now, Perfect. when you're talking yeah. about heavy, heavy weights, if there's a beginner out there, obviously still start 
slow yeah, and then build up to those heavier weights. Right? Yeah, always start slow and then start gradually go your way up. Yep. Okay, for sure. Awesome. Let's talk a little nutrition. Hey. Yep. Because, you know, we always come and do exercise demos, but I know that you guys at Freeform Fitness, yep. nutrition is very important. Sure what what, what yep. percentage would you say between working out and nutrition would it be? You know what? Um, it's basically, it relies on three things. Exercise, accountability, and diet. Those are the right. top three things. If you're accountable to what you're doing as far as mm -hmm. your diet and your exercise, then you're going to get where you need to be. But if you miss that open link somewhere within those three points, then you're not really going to get results. Mm -hmm. So diet is a huge, obviously it's, it's almost everything, but I would probably right. say about 7% Okay. Your diet. I mean, especially- That's a lot. Yeah, yeah people yeah, forget is. that, right? Yeah. 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 Diet's yeah. super key. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what about this whole idea, you know, women who want to trim down especially are yeah. talking no carbs. T tell us okay. about that. So, I mean, you do need carbohydrates in your diet. I mean, you don't want to de be deprived of carbohydrates, but you also want to have a certain balance of carbohydrates. You don't want super high glycemic carbohydrates, which right. is, you know, white rice, um, it could be anything from, um, it could be sh sh straight glucose, anything from sugar or starch that's going to boost your insulin levels. Yeah. You always want to choose the right type of carbohydrate, uh, which is like brown rice, sweet potato, veggies. Exactly. Okay. Just switching up your regular potatoes for sweet potatoes can make, make a big difference. difference. Totally. Now, yeah. for someone Definitely. like you, I mean, yep. you, you compete and so yep. do a lot of, uh, of your students over at Freeform yep. Fitness. Do you eat the, the regular three meals a day or do, um, you, do you throw in snacking? Actually, it, it's uh, three meals a day is actually going to slow your metabolism down. They actually recommend boosting your metabolism by upping your meals. So okay. if you can do five, six meals a day, it's going to work a little bit better that way. Yeah. Uh, personally, uh, I compete this weekend at the Ontario Bodybuilding Championships. And yeah, me I too. I'll see you there. <laughs> see you in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right now, currently, I'm... Um, I'm actually boosting my meals up to seven meals just to increase my metabolism, okay. but I'm, I'm actually lowering the amount of quantity that I'm eating. Have you got a couple of more we can do here? Yeah, yeah, for All sure. All right. Yeah, hey. so um, if you want to work again with the bicep again, cross body hammer curls are one of my favorites. Okay. It functionally hits both inner and outside. So Two weights? Grab that. Yep. Okay. So you're going to slightly bend your hips so you're not swinging. Okay. And then from here, you're going to bring it over to the opposite shoulder, so it's outside bicep. Right. And then you want to bring it down with your hands. So this, and then turn, yeah. up, and then turn like that. Back down. And yeah. I, while you come down, make sure it's slow because you're still hitting the bicep. And right. as you come down here, you're still extending the tricep. Okay. So functionally hitting both areas. So that's a good point. Really go slow. Slow. Get more out of yeah. the exercise. Yeah. The more you rush it, the worse it gets because you're really not targeting that muscle group. Exactly. Terrific. Yeah. Always great tips, James. Thanks so much Thanks for, for being here. And good luck this weekend at the competition. Thank you very yeah. much. Awesome. Thank He's you. He's going to win. I mean, come on. Look at the pipes on. <laughs>